Okay, so let's take up or mark one of these uh, spreadsheets, these enthalpy spreadsheets. So I'm looking, first of all, I'm liking the color coding. Um, we need some sort of type, title up in here, and presumably this is uh, bond uh, breaking. Might want to spell that correctly. And somewhere over here, I imagine this is bond making. And we should certainly color code both of those, but we're going to worry about that in a second. So uh, my first thing is I'm going to test this uh, against methane. I know that methane has four of these, and it uses two of these. And also I know that uh, for methane we've got, I think we make two of these, and we're supposed to make four of these. So I'm looking for a number of about minus 808. Great, so that's terrific. Now I'm going to start going a little bit deeper into this. I'm going to check the data table. And I see the data table is this big, huge thing. I'm going to make sure that it's named. So I'm going to click, drag, look, let go. And when I let go, I'm going to look in this upper left to see if it's named. And I'm going to let go, and it's not named. That's not good. You've got to name your table. Maybe this person meant to just name the bottom part. So I'm going to let go and look in the upper part. And they didn't name it. And remember, if you want to name a table, you're going to highlight the whole thing, and then you're going to name it. And I'm going to call this table um, Fred. You will not call it Fred. So now I'm looking back over here. And so I'm looking in this column and this column. Incidentally, I'm also, since this is input values, I want to see these color coded. Green is our color code for things a person is supposed to put in or areas where you're allowed to change the spreadsheet. So I like that for starters. Now I'm going to go in and pick individually. Um, this I'm immediately, this is not right. This is um, almost immediately a fail because this 602 is hard coded in there. Um, what happens if I change this to um, a CC bond? To, oh, it's, apparently it's still 602. What if it's an O double O bond? still or no single the point is there's no v lookup function in here and there needs to be so let's make sure that we code that so we want to use the v lookup function so that's v lookup and it says what do you want to look up that's what value means it means i want to look right here i want to look up for that value comma then it says where do you want to look i want to look in this table right in here it will ignore the very first line. And then it's back to here. I'm going to hit comma. It says, what column do you want? First column, second column. I want the stuff in the second column. So we'll close that off. And now notice that we're getting 142. Let's confirm that it is 142 over here. That's great. So now, instead of this hardwired at 602, this can be, well, suppose we make it a CC bond. Now it's 346. That's nice. What if we call this uh, bond uh, Mars to Earth? Let's see. Well, apparently there's a bond called Mars to Earth, and that's not good, because there is no such thing. And so what else is wrong with this spreadsheet? The person hasn't used the da data validation function. In other words, M Mars to Earth, or you could call it um, Z-Q, that's an illegal or invalid uh, um, bond. And yet the spreadsheet has been built to accept an invalid uh, thing, and that's not cool. So we're going to turn the data validation on. We do that by going data. And we're going to go to the data validation function. And we're going to turn the data validation function on. Are we going to allow any data? No, we're going to pick a list. And where's the source of that list? I'm going to click here. And the source of that list is this bond energy table. And I'll pick anything. I don't mind anything in this whole list. So I'll click there. And it goes A243, whatever. Hit enter, and I'm going to say OK. Now what happens if we try to do Mars? If we try to do Mars, it says that is not valid. What if we happen to do Z to Q? If we go uh, Q to Z, it says not valid. What if we do uh, Z dash Q? Not valid. 
nice thing is, clicking in here, only that valid list, that anything in that list is valid. So we're going to take this idea, we're going to copy it, we're going to paste it all the way down. I don't know why we would pick ZQ, that's probably not a good one. We'll pick AA for the time being. Copy that, paste it all the way down. And while we're at it, let's copy that same idea and put it over here. And let's copy this and paste it way down there. Great. So, uh, strangely enough, this is still 799. Well, it's not strange because this person coded 799 in there. So this value is always 799, and we don't want it that way. So equals V lookup. We want to look up for this value right in here, comma, and we want to look up. Where do we want to look? We want to look in this thing called Fred. You're not going to call it Fred. You're going to call it something sensible, comma. And uh, let's see, uh, second column over, second column over, close the bracket. And why did that come up? Uh, for some reason, I jammed my finger in that and I picked the wrong thing. So I believe that was actually called Fred. And we'll put a comma in. And that's looking a little better. And we'll take that idea, we'll copy and paste it. And we'll take all of these ideas here, and we'll copy and we'll paste them over here. And this is very strange, too. We've got always exactly the same. Doesn't really make sense. So this times number 2 times number 2 times number 2 just doesn't make sense. So I think that's dangerous. I would go equals this times this. And I would copy that paste. I would copy that idea again and again. Yeah, I like that. And I would take this, and I would copy this, and I would do that idea again and again. OK, so now we're going to gussy this up. We're going to color code this. Uh, we'll make this blue, and we'll make this red, or um, we'll make this uh, that color. We're going to change this to green because green says put something in here. And we're going to change this to green. So we're going to put something in here. And we're going to test this. We're going to say that there are four CH bonds being broken. And I think these are called HC bonds. And we're going to say that uh, um, there are what? Uh, there are two. O double O bonds, which I'm guessing is probably somewhere down around here. I'm testing this against methane, and I'm expecting four OHs or HOs and uh, two what was it CO2 bonds or C double O bonds, and I don't know why we're not getting a value of oh that's because over here let's just change that to a zero value. There we go, minus 802, terrific. Uh, Bob's your uncle here. Now that's looking good. We want to change this to blue or whatever color that is, purple or gray or something. Looks close enough for me. All right, that's looking like a pass. Um, but uh, I think you should test it one more way. So go into the net and try like uh, find a, a practice problem that shows you the heat of combustion for something like methanol or ethanol or something and test it against that and then hand that in. Okay, that's it.